What's up guys? Welcome to Cooking With You. This is Chen and for today's video, we're making shrimp stuffed eggplant glazed with a brown savory sauce. So for the ingredients of the shrimp stuffed eggplants, we need three Chinese eggplants, 300 grams of deveined and completely peeled shrimps, one pinch of ground Chinese five spices, one teaspoon of chicken broth mix powder, one teaspoon of Shaoxing wine, sorry if I mispronounced that, two finely minced shallots, and one tablespoon of cornstarch, or if you're on keto, use one tablespoon of arau root. So the ingredient for the glaze is one cup of water, three tablespoons of oyster sauce, or if you're on keto, use tamari or coconut aminos, one tablespoon of dark soy sauce, one tablespoon of cornstarch, or if you're on keto, use a raw root, and half a teaspoon of sesame oil. Okay, so now let's start with the eggplants. We're going to cut off the tips slightly diagonally. You can discard the tips or you can save them later for any vegetable stir fries you will be making throughout the week. This is what I normally do. Continue to cut diagonally of 1 inch pieces by cutting it diagonally. This will give you bigger pieces than the eggplant's actual width. And also, it just makes you look like you're a culinary master. Now, we're gonna cut in the center of the eggplant, but only about a third quarter, because this is where we're going to be stuffing the eggplant with the shrimp paste, but we wanna make sure that the eggplant is still intact. So now we're going to prepare the shrimps. For the shrimps, we're going to crush it flat with a knife as so. And then we're going to finely mince them to create a shrimp paste. Now transfer the shrimp paste to a small bowl and we're going to season with the ground Chinese five spices, the chicken broth mix powder, the Shaoxing wine, cornstarch or a rau root and mince shallots and then we're going to mix it all up very well. Let's stuff the shrimp paste into the center of the eggplant pieces. Take about a tablespoon of shrimp paste and insert it into the center of the eggplant where we made the slit. Make sure you fill up the sides and push the paste in with the spoon as much as possible, otherwise they will fall out during the cooking process. And then, with the back side of the spoon, pass it along the paste to flatten it out and so that it looks neat like this. Now that you've stuffed all of your pieces in a pan with a lid on high heat, pour in a generous amount of oil of your choice and spread the oil out. Make sure the pan is hot and you can check by hovering your hand over the pan and if you can feel the heat, it is ready. Put in your eggplant pieces and cover the lid for about one minute, which will cook the bottom side to a golden brown color. Make sure to check frequently to avoid overcooking it as different stoves have different heat settings. Flip over the pieces and cook until golden brown as well.
Once both sides are golden brown, pour in one cup of water into the pan and use the lid to cover the steam. We will steam the eggplants for 5 minutes on high heat. If within that 5 minutes you see that the water is running out, just add in half a cup of water and resume steaming. After 5 minutes, your shrimp stuffed eggplants should be cooked. Turn off the heat and plate them. To make the glaze, in a small pot with the heat off, pour in the water, add in the cornstarch or a raw root. Add in the dark soy sauce. Add in the oyster sauce. And now we're going to stir. Now that everything is mixed, pour in the sesame oil, turn on the heat to medium, and make sure to stir constantly until we have a thick consistency similar to melted ice cream. Now the remaining step is to drizzle a generous amount of the glaze on top of the shrimp stuffed eggplants. Garnish with some sliced green onions and serve. There you go, shrimp stuffed eggplants. I hope you enjoy this video. If you like the recipe, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Alright, take care guys.